Hello everyone, it's Rugo Mama and I kind of feel better today and that's really easy. Took a shower yesterday, took a shower again today, and I'm better. So good that I got two little ponytails. Started wearing mascara, starting actually using my eyeliner. I already bought them a couple of months ago, and they're gonna go bad anyways, right? So today's lesson is, hmm, I wonder what it is. Can you guess? Use what you have. Use it up, finish it, let it run out, then think about buying it again. <laughs> so it's a good life lesson, isn't it? Think about it a second. Yeah, we just cut the video off by mistake because I was trying to move the, my cell phone away. No, I'm not wearing mascara or eyeliner right now because I took a shower. And decided to have some fun with my hair. Since I already got it, it's mine. And it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I've lost too much weight. Can't actually do anything about it. But I am using the face cream that I have that I bought from Lidl about six months ago. I bought face cream, the eye cream, the shower, the facial wash, whatever. And I wasn't using it. I just opened it, used it once, twice, and that was the end. So actually using your stuff before you go out and buy more stuff saves like a ton of money, people. I'm not gonna hide it, I'm a smoker. My only bad habit left is smoking and coffee. And it's afternoon here, it's five o'clock. So it's about time for me to get up, put another hair tie in my hair, because I'm not gonna go around like this. Hair is just gonna fall out. Put it all up, probably like Put the other hair tar there, and I'm good for tonight. But that's enough with my hair, isn't it? Now, if my mascara finishes, I'm not gonna go buy another one, that's for sure. If my eyeliner finishes, I'm not gonna go buy another one. I might, if I have a wedding, or I have to go to a baptism, or I have to go somewhere. Now, if you open your cupboards, yeah, you can pause the video, go open your cupboards, people. Look under your cupboard sink, your bathroom cupboards, your pantry, and then you're allowed to come back. Pause the video, go do it. <coughs> I'm still waiting. If you did it, well, go to work. What did you see under your cupboards? Did you see a lot of products? And lots of products being unused and you're forgetting about it. How about now that it's August? I said it's July, but August is like nine days away or 10. Anyways, how about getting out a piece of paper or a book or a shopping list, a second shopping list and writing what things you run out of but before you go out and buy them because they're finishing or whatever take a look under your cupboards you're gonna find a billion other things me when I run out of shampoo I run out of shampoo we could go up to three days with no shampoo in house. the same for the body wash same for everything if they're not finished I'm not gonna go buy them and if someone uses the last drop of shampoo, I'm gonna take a look in the bathrooms, in the cupboards, even the pantry sometimes. Because we do misplace a lot of things when we're in a hurry. Because I come from the shopping, I bring everything to the store, and I got like 50 minutes or a half an hour to put everything away. For the store, the house, uh, the bathroom products, and I'm sure 
that I have shampoo or body wash somewhere with the coffees. Because I saw this today. To be honest, I about a month ago, but I didn't actually move it because I was busy at that point doing something else. Yeah, I try to be neat, nice, neat, tidy, but life happens, right? So let every little bit of drop finish. Get rid of your excesses. Okay, if you find something unspecial, like shampoo for a dollar, buy 10 of them. It's good for a year or two. In my house, 10 bottles of shampoo go through like in six months. Five people, they finish really fast. Think of your budget. How much are you willing to spend? How many people are in your house? Conditioner is just me and my daughter, so no kidding. Even if I find it for a dollar, I'm not going to go out and buy 10 bottles. I'm going to buy four. <laughs> That's enough for us for a whole year. And like every human being, I'm going to put them somewhere. And when we do run out, my daughter or my son see that we got excess of something. It's like, ooh, yes, my, but a lot it's like... Let's use twice as much. I don't know what they go happy with a shampoo, the conditioner, the toothpaste, and it keeps on going and going and going. So I do hide things. But then I remember I have like uh, took one out, had three left. And then it's like took one more out. I had five, four. This is the second one. I have two. And at some point I forget. So August is clean out everything it's like i'm not gonna go buy shampoo when we do really and actually run out of shampoo i'll go buy the cheap things like over here for two dollars or two euros that's it until my next actual shopping trip i do this like four times a year right now in the house they don't have toilet paper in the store i do have one in the woman's bathroom, one in the man's, and two packs hidden, like two toilet rolls, hidden. But since they went crazy last time about toilet paper, I told them, be careful, don't overuse it, because it's going to finish. No one's actually listening to mommy or to the wife. And now they ran out of toilet paper. So they're kind of pissed, and they're like, you should go shopping. And I'm like, no, no, people. I don't go shop, but it is time to go shopping again. I can't even remember the last time we, but you guys with me, to the supermarket. Was we did doing lunch hours about a month ago with a humongous heat wave, and I think it's time because I've been using a lot of ingredients for the store and for us to eat. But I'm off topic again. I am on topic, but I'm on topic. It's do not buy things you don't need. Check your cupboards, be more organized. And you'll see, if you're organized, you'll know when the sale is on. Get two, three, I don't know what, I'm stuck with shampoo today. It works with detergents, it works with everything, even with food. Let things run out sometimes. Empty your pantries, empty your bathroom supplies, empty everything. No, don't go give them away, just use them. And don't buy, like don't stockpile. It might some sound weird to some people that are saving, but yeah, cut back on spending. Why have 10 shampoos and an empty wallet? When I'm sure if you buy one and the whole family's on it, or the way I'm gonna be soon by myself. <laughs> soon, by myself. I'm sure with one bottle of shampoo, I can pass by two months. Or even three or four. But we'll see, won't we? I'm stuck with shampoo today. But I think everybody got the point. Stop stockpiling and start saving. I'd rather have the money in the bank than in a stockpile. I know, I might need the stockpile. And I do shop a lot of things, but I always make sure I don't overdo it. 
you with the store, I'll get the basic things. Pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers. I'm always paying regular price because my suppliers do not have specials. But all the things that I give, like two, three servings of lunchtime food, the ones we eat, they're all based on specials. So I don't know. I find something, I'll be cooking it for two or three weeks. When I do go and I'm running out of things now, when I do find something else on special, well, trust me, my customers are going to be eating that. It's like it or leave it. And because it's only between five to six, yeah, from five dollars or five euros to six and a half dollars or euros, everybody's, but that's a homemade meal. It's cheap. No labor for me. And it's served right to my face, hot. And I eat it like an hour late, but they get it like right out of the pot. Who can complain with that? And I'd like to, ev to thank everyone for subscribing, watching my videos, me being Annette. I know there's no water again, people. There's no water. So, yeah, we try to save water, but no. I needed two days of showers, like one yesterday, one today. I don't want to, I'm going to be crying tomorrow if there's no water again because I won't have water for the store toilets, but I was going nuts. And of course, life happens and tomorrow's my main day. So I'm putting the video for tonight for now. Remember, stop, stop piling that much. Use what you have because they do go bad. Use shampoos. Till tomorrow, see ya. And I'll have fun playing with my hair and acting like a five-year-old. It is quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> that cheer me up. <laughs>